How's it going, everybody? This is Rob Novakest back with another video talking about, or at least uh, playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, so, yeah, this is the point where things start getting more and more crazy. I am not excited for it at all. We got another image that we still need to collect. A couple more of the poems at this point. There's an image there, which I think I kind of know what it is. Um, secrets. Oh, wait, what's this? A rough concept sketch of what the faceless protagonist might have looked like if he was a real character. That sets up some questions. Uh, provided an email of communication. Huh. Alright, let's head back to Doki. And I just realized I forgot to turn down my, my TV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Which... Okay. Oh boy. Blah, 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 blah. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. The girl's name is uh, my neighborhood and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today. But it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long we used to walk to school to together on days like this but starting around high school she would oversleep more and more frequently and i would get tired of waiting up but if she's going to chase after me like this i almost feel better off running away however i sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk as mm, catched up to me. Oh, jeez, yeah. The game's freaking out. It's an ordinary school day like any other. Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friends, uh, friend groups, walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I always tell myself it's about time to meet some girls or something like that. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting by on or on average or on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there will be any girls in it anyway. The school day is as ordinary as ever. It's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. No guest. And it's Monica. Monica? Oh, my goodness. I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah, it is. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me is genuinely... Or so genuinely feels a little... What did you come in here for, anyway? Oh. I've just been looking for 
some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the de uh, debate club, right? Heh, <laughs> about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I started a new one. The Literature Club. That, that was weird. You know what's really interesting too? If you look at the background, it might just be me, but looking at the, the chalkboard, it looks like like pieces of the chalkboard is missing. Uh, literature? That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know? Literature, literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the uh, club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member is a member, right? Did Monica say she? Um, I never cast. By any chance. Are you still looking for a club to join? Uh, I mean, I guess so, but in that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but if you could, at the very least, visit the, uh, visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please? Um, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could check it out. Ah, awesome. You're really sweet, Novacast, you know that. It's nothing, really. Shall we go, then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica. Originally, it was Cupcake. And her irresistible smile. I dejectedly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of school I rarely visit. Monica, full of energy, swings open the door. I'm back. I brought a guest with or with me. Yeah. Oh, shit. A guest? Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, no cast. All words escape me in this situation. This club, it's full of incredibly cute girls. So let me guess, you're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Nasuki? The girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes her look like a first year student. Anyway. This is Natsuki, energetic as usual, and this is Yuri, the Vice President. It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet you, uh, meet both of you. So I ran into Novacast in a classroom. 
and you decide to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica, didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to, well, you know. Oh, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make us or make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Novacast? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all of the effort to start something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. Uh, you have to work hard to convince people that both or that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident we can all really go or grow this club before we graduate. Right. Or right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. Yuri returns to the table grabbing a tea set, or carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. That's not... Insulted, Yuri walks away. I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least... But I at least enjoy, enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles at herself in relief. So, Novacast, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Uh, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad face. Or sad smile. Anyway, what about you? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story is such a foreign and for, of in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She t she seems to reserve uh, so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books. Not just people, but you know, a lot of, I like a lot of things. Stories with a deep psychological, 
with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. All right. It's a, isn't it amazing how a writer can so deeply take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you in a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Wait a minute. Anyway, I have a first second I had to stop because I thought the background was moving. Um, anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read horror. Uh, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at a minimum level. At this rate, Yuri might as well have been. Or might as well be having a conversation with the rock. Huh. I expect that from you, Yuri. It suits you per it suits your personality. Is that so? Really? If a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world. If only for a brief moment. Uh, I hate horror. Is that... Or why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me in the first split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud. And give that back. Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share, share them sometime? No. Natsuki adverts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing the level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share one of your poems, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um, uh, I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I did decide to take on the responsibility of vice, vice president, after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Novacast? Hold on, there's still one problem, and what's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind. I never said I would join this club. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made the, any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, I'm sorry, I thought, hmm, eh? 
The girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, Nopecast. The thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an unofficial club. We need four. And you killed off the fourth. <laughs> Spoilers. Um, and I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And we don't... And if we don't find one more before the festival... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club isn't... Or... The club itself seems pretty relaxed. So... If writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls, right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that? Yeah. It could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really, if you really just left after all this, I'd be super pissed. Novacast, I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You really, you're really amazing. I'll do whatever I can to give you a great time. Okay. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone, remember tonight's assignment, writing a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can share, uh, we can all share. Monica looking over at me once more, Novcast, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. E. Uh, yeah. Alright, can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay, see you tomorrow then. Can't wait. Okay, with that I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have a chance to grow closer to one of these three girls. Alright. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure and I'm sure good fortune will find me and I guess that starts the writing that starts with writing a poem tonight okay you've unlocked a special poem can you hear me what was that was that just me? I heard. I thought I heard a giggle. Okay, so this time around... Okay. Alright. So this might go by a little bit faster now. Because it is just the two of them. And just in case... List. Okay, so last time I started with Yuri. Um, let's start with Natsuki this time.
Okay. Trying to find the Natsuki words. Okay. Funny. Shit. 
<laughs> okay. All right. Um. Hi again, Gnomecast. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ah, uh, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I can keep my word. Well, I'm heading back to the literature club. At least or I was the last to come in. So someone else is already hang hanging out. Oh, bullshit. Okay, now, now the thing's spinning. Or is it moving forward? Yeah, it's like, it's going, it's like, changing. Alright. Thanks for keeping your promise, Novacast. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst in the literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, sure. Oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out on or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Um, that's okay if you don't take this seriously. I can't see what. Uh, Natsuki, you, have, you continuously have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Can I not see that? Yeah, it looks like it's going forward. Like it's spinning, but also going forward. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica or manga. Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. I'm sorry, Novacast. We'll make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Um, anyway. Now that you're in the club and all, perhaps... You might have interest in picking up a book to read? Well, I really can't, I can't really say no either. Like you said, I'm in the same club now, so it only feels right for me to do something like that, if you ask. Wait, I didn't mean it like that. <coughs> Damn. If you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Uh, no, it's not like that. I want to try to be part of this club. So, even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you want me to. Are you sure? I just felt like, well, as president and our vice president and all, that I should help you get started or something you might like. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want. This is how... How's this girl accidentally being so cute? 
She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Uh, Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Yeah, the thing's spinning. It, it, I'm feeling uncomfortable. Okay. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Okay, now it's back to normal. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled uh, activities, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Ugh. Natsu uh, I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. Are you looking for something in there? Whoa! Fucking Monica! She never puts my stuff back in the right, pla right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is just going to mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. How did you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I see. There's a lone volume of manga amidst the stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. Or did she? Wait a minute. Curious. Okay, I. It said I. Okay, there it is. Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to the box of manga and slips the volume right into the mi middle of the rest. Yeah, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in a wor in the world. I know that feeling. I get a closer look at the box sets she's admiring. Parfait Girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. It, that probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're going to judge, you can go do it through the glass on that door. She points out to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice, but I'll tell you one thing, Novacast. Consider, don't judge a book. In fact, Natsuki's Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Barfay Girls from the box. I'm going to show you exactly why. She subs the book right into my hands. Uh, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire, striking and animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly moe. Don't just stand there, huh? Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window seal. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time. Like that. Eh? Why is that? Uh, I guess it's easier to be closer together like this? Eh? Don't just say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad feeling or bad thing. I open the book. 
it's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't, won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Huh? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then. Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've read the finished, uh, already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Um, I am, but nothing's really happened yet. So, I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's about a bunch of friends of in high school. Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of this since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. Um, are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read. Well, I'm fine with that, if you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Hmm. You don't? That's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Uh, sorry. Huh. Like, I could... Like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being really... Uh, really like uh, you still haven't grown out of that of that yet makes me want to punch them in the face uh, I know those kinds of people honestly it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge much less friends who are also into it I'm already kind of a loser so I guess I gravitate towards the other losers over time Alright, it's... But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in... Or keep it in my own room. My dad would beat the shit out of me if he found this. Oh, fuck. I forgot about that. Yeah, his... Her, uh, they they kind of insinuate that her father's abusive. Fuck, I forgot about that. At least it's safe here in the classroom. Except Monica's kind of a jerk about it. Uh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, I'm here reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? So... <laughs> Jeez. That's enough. Are you going to keep reading or what? Uh, yeah. I flipped the page. Time passes. Natsuki is strangely quiet now. I glance over to her. It looks like she started to fall asleep. Hey, Natsuki. Yeah? Suddenly, Natsuki collapsed straight into me. Hey. Oh, fuck. Oh, the, the music's becoming distorted. Oh, jeez. That's it, QUK. Here. Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. She throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches the protein, or 
snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to give him... She doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it in her mouth. Uh, don't worry. She's fine. It just happens now and then. And then. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag or for her. Anyway, why don't we all share poems now? Okay. So we're on to this part. Though I think for now... I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Truly appreciate it. If you guys can, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. If you guys want to follow us on social media, links are in the description down below. As well as check out our daily content and the weekly podcast. And with that being said, this is Rob Movecast signing off. Have a good one. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.